Yo, 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 and welcome to another edition of Little Bro Vapes. So what can I say? Thank you very much to all my new subscribers and the old ones. Well, what's Little Bro been vaping on today? It's another hardware review, people. And it's the Wall Crawlers Big Brother. It's a Super Bat 220 watt mod, um, dual 18650. Comes with that wonderful 1.3 inch colour screen, and it is proper high definition. It also comes with a Frogman tank. And it's their superhero range, because obviously the wall crawler, which is a single 18650 battery, um, that was all for uh, Spider-Man. This is more for your Batman. So, And it's got flashing lights. There we go. We'll talk about them a little bit later on. Um, right, well, I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll do the unboxing, show you what you get with it, show you around the mod and its modes, and then we'll do the pros and cons and the bits that you missed. So, the front of the box, it tells you it's a super bat. It's got a picture of your mod on there and it tells you that it's Vaptio. On this side, it tells you all the warnings. Don't vape in a bin and don't vape when you're pregnant. Um, on this side, it does tell you what colour your mods come in. Stick a picture up there for you. On this side, it tells you that it's a scratch and sniff to make sure it's from Vaptio. And then on the back, it tells you everything that is included in the kit, which is your mod, it, also your Frogman tank, your two coils, a uh, USB charging cable because it can charge it. I think it's a 2 amp charging as well. And you can also update your firmware and the themes. And you've got two spare coils, the double W8 and the W2 coils. Um, and then you get all your user manuals. Now, like before with the wall crawler, I've already um, actually reviewed the Frogman tank, so I will leave a, a link in the description so you can go over and have a little look at it, or you can find it in the playlist. Um, so yeah, let's have a little look inside. Open the box up. You get all your user manuals, both for your tank and for your um, super bat itself. Make sure you read the cautions, and that tells you how to prime your coils, etc. And you get your warranty. Now, if I just show you inside here, you get your spare coil and your USB cable there. You also get a spare glass. And if I just show you there, you do get this with the uh, red one and silver, you get the silver Frogman tank. I've been using the, the black uh, Frogman, so I've just put that on there. Right then, let's have a little look around the mod. Now, like before, with the wall crawler, it had the theme of obviously Spider-Man. You had the spider on the back and all the webbing on it. And it had a little bit of a plasticky feel to it, the wall crawler. This hasn't. This has got a really nice feel to it. Like I said, it's a dual 18650 batteries in there. Nice little bit of weight to it. It's got flashing lights. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but we'll, we'll go through the modes and show you how that all works on there. Um, it's got a spring-loaded 510. Um, you're roughly, again, you're going to get away with about 25mm atty on there. Not, not very much more because you're going to get a bit of overhang. And it's also sitting slightly up. It's like sort of raised up. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I might be able to get it up on the up and close. It's, it's sort of raised up on it. Um, you've got a nice big fire button at the side. Nice and clicky. Five clicks on, five clicks off. So let's have a look at the, at the front of the mod itself. As you can see at the front, you've got like a Batman's face. And then either side of there is where the two um, navigational buttons are. Now, if you look at the main screen, I love this screen. It is so crisp, it is so bright, and it's vibrant. I like the look of it. Um, you've got at the top, it tells you that it's Vaptio. Then you've got your two battery um, countdowns on there. I'm going to call them countdowns from now on. Um, yeah, your, your battery's on the right hand side. Um, then you've got sort of like a rev counter on there, which shows you from 0 to 200. It's, it's actually 240 watts on there, but it does say it's a 220 watt kit. Goes up to 220. I don't know why it goes to 240 on there. Um, you've then got your voltage. You've got your ohms, um, and it tells you obviously you can have your uh, it's 50 watts, or you can have your temperature control in there as well. You'll see at the bottom it does sell, say variable wattage, but there is a smart mode on there, which it'll take you from low. Uh, normal, high, and also auto. So when you put a, um, an atty on there, it will automatically um, get you to the right wattage and also whether it's um, high, normal, or soft on it. Um, but we'll go through the menu and I'll show you that. So that's roughly the front of it. Um, again, if you have a little look around the side, you've got like the Batman logo, and on the back you've got your shiny lights with the Batman logo as well. It does say Super Bat at the, uh, the bottom. Um, on the bottom of it, you can see where your battery door is, where you fit your two um, 18650s. And there isn't very much venting on there. I would imagine the venting's with where the lights are. Um, 
So, to get into your mod, it's three clicks, one, two, three, and you're into your menu. Now, this menu is near enough exactly the same as the wall crawler. So, it's one click to get into your mode setting. And you'll see there we've got your variable volt voltage, variable wattage mode. You've got your temperature control mode. Now, this is where the smart mode is. We'll go into that. You'll see there it's a soft, normal, high, or auto. So, if you select auto... And then have a little look back on the main screen again. It'll say smart underneath it. And it's changed the wattage to 60 watts. So that's the smart. So when you put an Atty on, it'll work it out automatically what the resistance is and what's the best wattage for you. So if you come back out of that, you go back into your mode. And then go back to the top to your um, variable uh, wattage mode. Press that and then we'll go back and it comes back with VW on there. That's your smart mode. So again, three clicks, and you're into the main menu. You go back into mode. So like I said, we've got the variable wattage mode, temperature control mode, smart mode, CCW mode, and CCT mode. That's your curves. And then you've got your bypass. Again, if you look at the bottom, you can go back into the menu, or you can press home, and it takes you back to the mod, the home screen on the mod. So if you press back, we're back into the functions. Again, if we go over to settings, We've got system settings, um, mode settings, vape time, sleep time, and puff manager. And then we've got the LED settings. Now, as you can see, you can ch if you go into colour, you can change whichever colour. I like the purple, but you, you've got a number of um, colours actually on the screen there to use. To be honest with you, I would normally actually turn it off. But yeah, as the gimmick goes, you've then got your LED mode. Um, it'll go puff on or LED off. So if we just go down from it, there we go. So you can have it like on a breathing mode where it like pulsates, always on or always off. Multicolor just goes through all of its colors. Um, or if you're actually taking a drag puff change, taking a drag, it'll go through whichever setting you've put it onto. Um, again, I'm more like wanting it off, to be honest with you. Um, and then back again, you're, you're back to your LED settings. Back again, um, you're into the management screen and then back to the functions. Then you go down to your themes. You've got a theme one and a theme two. The theme two isn't quite out yet. I, am, I haven't checked. It might be out when you're going to look in a while. Um, and again, make sure you check up for your firmware upgrades and also for your themes. Again, to come back out of that, you go to um, back and then back again and you're back to your main menu. And that's basically about it. Um, so I'll tell you what, let's do the pros, the cons, and the bits that we've missed. See, I always miss something. If you hold the two directional buttons in, it will lock your mod. And then if you hold them in again, it will unlock your mod. Now with the directional buttons, if you're trying to change your wattage up and down, if you press it singular, it'll take you up by a watt or down by a watt. But if you hold it in, it'll take you up by 10 or down by 10. I think that's a good idea. Now the Frogman tank we've already reviewed. There will be a link down in the description so you can check it out. But it's corking flavour, corking clouds, and I really do like the filling mechanism on it as well. So let's do the pros and the cons. We'll do the cons first because there isn't actually that many of them. Now first of all, I'm not really into the gimmick. Obviously they've done the wall crawler for the Spider-Man and obviously the Super Bat for Batman. It's the hero mods. I think the mods speak for themselves. I'm also not really into the flashy lights but I know some people are going to be into them so it's just my opinion now the 510 itself like I said to you earlier is slightly raised and there's a little gap underneath it so I know there's a lot of uh, OCD vapors out there they're not going to like that um, also I think maybe they could have actually put the 510 centered I think it might have looked a little bit better but apart from that there's not actually that many cons to it now let's look at the pros it's a good looking thing it feels nice in your hand it's a, a dual 18650, 220 watt. You've got a 1.3 inch um, HD screen. It is so bright, it's so colourful, it's fresh. It's one of the best screens that I've seen. I said the same for the uh, wall crawler. It's one of the best ones that I've seen. It is really, really good. Um, the other thing as well you've got on here, now the menu, you've got loads on there. You've got your variable wattage, you've got your temperature control, you've got your smart mode, you've also got your curves and also your bypass mode. You can change your themes, it's firmware upgradable and you can actually charge it, your batteries while it's actually in the mod itself. 
Um, the actual uh, charging ports there at the front, which I quite like that. It's not at the, the bottom or anything, so you've got to lay it down. So all in all, it feels nice, and it's not a bad hitting mod either. Decent flavour. The tank and the, the, the mod itself do match. The same as the, the wall crawler. So all in all, let's wrap this up. You're getting a decently made mod for a decent price. You're getting a lot of options in your menus. From, like I said, your curves to your bypass to your smart mode. And the smart mode, um, like I did say to you, you stick a natty on there and it'll tell you the best wattage for it. And, and whether they're having it high, medium or low. I do like it. All in all, it's a good looking mod. Apart from the silly gimmicks of the lights and stuff, big thumbs up from little bro. Vaptio is coming out with some really, really good stuff. The wall crawler, this, the N1, and they're also coming out with some good pod stuff as well, so keep your eyes out for them. Well, this has been another review by little bro. You can check out all the details of Vaptio down in the descriptions. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you've liked the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the subscribe button just in the corner. Give a little press and get me to that new magic number. And there's one last thing to say, people. Keep them juices flowing.